All right, welcome to another Flexibility and Focus with yourself, yourself, myself, Coleman Power. And I don't know who I am. We're gonna hop on over to the stretching area. Let's get going. 20 minutes, rocking and rolling. Okay, so again, this morning, we're gonna open up those legs and those hips for me. Coming at you, up and down. Up that leg goes and out to the side. Okay, get into a motion that you take one or two steps lightly back, one or two steps slightly forward, and we're opening up that body. One, two, and one, two. That's it. Key thing is that, again, we are naturally either waking up the body or improving the blood flow, speeding up the legs of recovery, and allowing our body that key and essential thing for health, movement of the joints. Open up and roll those shoulders back once or twice as well. Super stuff, out we go. And roll back, good, up to the side. Up and out. Okay, last five on this one. And we're switching it up. Do a little bit of upper body. Up and out. Last three. Up and out. Last two. Up and out, and one. Okay, now in that standing position, let's do those shoulders. Let's roll them back. Good. And in through your nose, and out through your mouth. You can also walk around the room, whether you're doing the stretching exercises this morning, walk around the square, walk around the circle, just get that movement in the shoulders. Okay, for the last five, we're gonna go forward then. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, well done. Here's the breather, shake out the hands, shake out the legs, and now we go forward. If you went backwards, then you go forward. Okay, if you went forwards, then you go backwards. That's it. Open up, make a big circle. Breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Keep the thing moving, muscles need oxygen to work. Okay, last three, last two, last one. All right, well done. Okay, we're in that position. Okay, now we're gonna be going across the body, stretching out and looking in the opposite direction for me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Open up the chest. One, two, Three, four, and five. Next one, come across the body. Look in the opposite direction. I'm gonna take a deep breath and you hold for five. Five, four, now three, two, and one. Again, five more, open up the chest. Kind of tapping yourself on the back. Three, here we go. Now, four, and five. Super stuff. Now we're back into open up and hinge in the hips. Open up and hinge. That's it. Up and to the right. Up and to the right. Well done. Up and out. That's it. Roll back those shoulders and a little bit looser up top as well. We go from top to bottom, or bottom to top. Out, up and to the side. I'm going to show you now from the side angle. Come out, standing position, open up those legs. And open up as far as you can. Open and hinge. Up and. Super stuff. Go into the shoulder movement now again. After this. Last five. And again, you'll get better. You can put your hand in your hips. Sometimes that helps. Up with balance and go. Last three. Here we go. Two. Roll back those shoulders in between. And one. We all went to zero. We count it down. But done. Out and open up. Good. Next one is. Now we're going to start with small circles here first. Okay, so small. Small little circles on round two. Then they start to become a little bit bigger. Little bit big, we're making bigger circles with the hands. Okay, on the side, smaller, 
to be medium circles. Okay, stay on the medium right now, go on backwards or whatever direction you've chosen. Preferably backwards. And make it bigger and bigger. Well done. And all the way as wide as you possibly can. Wide, big massive circles now. And then once we start to have a couple of rotations on the large circles going backwards, we're gonna go down into medium again. So from large, we go into medium circles. The medium for a couple of seconds. Backwards rotations. Then small, tiny circles. Okay. And finish in five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Feel that now in the shoulders, that's for sure. Okay, well done on that. Next one is the exact same exercise, but in the forward rotation. Okay, so starting off small, tiny circles for me. Tiny circles, roughly for about five odd seconds, we're making them small, but breathing at the same time. Okay, well done. Rotate around and let's get into the medium size, a little bit larger. A little bit larger, the size of a football, basketball. And roughly again for around five seconds. We're opening up those shoulders, going larger now to big, big circles. Forward motion, open up and make them big, massive, as large as they can go. And again for five seconds, four. Three, two, and one. All right, well done. That's those done. Roll back the shoulders, look left, look right, and breathe. Come across the body, look in the opposite direction here. Palm now for five seconds. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch hands, opposite direction. Okay, in your opposite direction and hold. Look in that opposite direction. We're going over the left shoulder right now. The palm is facing the opposite direction for four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're tapping ourselves in the back now. Far, five for me. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Super stuff. Okay, we're rolling back those shoulders again. Loosen them out. Next thing we're going to be doing is, okay, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Okay, we're standing up in this position. One, two steps forward and a crunch. Two steps back. So get into the motion of one, two steps back and two and one and two. This is working the core as well as coordination. Okay, so just elbow to knee is what it is. Elbow to knee, you can keep it up high, okay? Working a little bit of upper back as well, a bit more movement in the lats. That's the back muscle, okay? Up and across that body. Get into the motion. Try to keep the pace with me as best you can, okay? Either way, you're just doing the same exercises at your own pace, and that's what we want to do, at your own flexibility. Again, roll back the shoulders. The more movement you do, the better. Come across and we're walking that core. Crunch. And again, forward and crunch. One, two, one, two. Bit like a dance. Here we go. Passe doble. One, two. And if you can do the passe doble, send me a message, okay? I love that. Two. Okay. Last five on this one. Five. Here we go. Four. Hands up if you can. Three. Two. And one. Very well done. Now in this standing position, we're gonna kick those legs up. Okay? We're gonna stand, stand and you're gonna hold something that's absolutely fine. We're gonna hold something where you kick out and up. Okay? So hold on to something, or you can also use your own stability of your ankles. We're gonna go for 10 on each leg. So hold something, or use your own stability, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so we're here. Three, two, and one. Hold on to something steady. Makes that a little bit easier. Four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Again, that's hamstrings, loosen it out. Also get the blood flowing at the same time. So now we're going the right leg, we're now going on to the left. Ready to go for me, three, two, one, let's go. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Shake out the legs. Take a quick drink of water if you have it. I'm actually, actually out. In fact, there's actually magnesium all there. Really good for relaxing the muscles. Okay, second round. We're going into kicking up on the right leg and start again. Hold on to something for stability, okay? Two, three, well done. Four, five, get it up good and high. Six, seven, and to the back. Eight, now nine, and ten. Magic stuff. Shake out the legs, roll out the shoulders, getting into it, and let's kick up for the left leg. And here we go. Full amount of something, anything at all, and let's go. Two, three, now four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, well done. That was a really, really good one, okay? We're gonna go one more round on that because those hamstrings are essential to loosen. It's such a simple exercise. We well, can do this anytime during the day. Really go for me. Back on, right leg, three, two, and one. Kick it up. Now three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feel the looser, the moment. We start doing those exercises with the hamstrings. They literally are the keystone. That's why a lot of people have injuries, where it's lads playing sports, in, uh, have those hamstrings that are in. I'm gonna say tachos because they're not doing enough stretches, okay? Flexibility is key to health. We're gonna go on that left leg for me now. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely stuff. Kick out those legs, and again now, we're going down onto the legs of the floor. Let's get those stretches in far. Those shoulders, we've done the legs. And again, we're going to be sitting down on your heels, right? Sit down on your heels, hands fully extended, okay? And your head is up. So we feel it now in the upper back of the shoulders. Take a deep breath and release. And lower your body down. And once we're in that bottom position, Take another deep breath in, and then blow out and slowly lower the body again. Notice that when you breathe out, that your body goes down lower into a stretch. So we're always taking a big deep one, into your nose now for me, all the way up to the top, and slowly lower as you blow out, the body goes down, 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 and down. Well done. Okay, coming up, and now, what we're doing is right hand underneath the body and we look down down the line as the fella says okay down the line and then we turn our head just slightly to look over the shoulder it's a tough one so even putting that hand again to show you right hand underneath so on a needle and you lie down look down at your palm for a second then slowly turn your head to look towards your shoulder Okay, hold that stretch, underneath it goes, look at your palm, and down we go, shoulder to the floor, nearly, then look over that right shoulder, you feel the stretch in, your upper back, for three, for two, for one. Next one, left hand, underneath, lie down, and look down the palm, left hand, Underneath, repeating the exercise instructions, right hand down, 
and look down at the plan, then look slowly, tick tock over, to look over the opposite shoulder. That left shoulder, and breathe. And hold that stretch for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now we're again, second round, right hand, underneath, just underneath there, underneath. And then look at your palm for a second, then rotate your head around, coming up and just looking at, your chin is kind of sitting on your shoulder. And we breathe here, get deeper into the stretch, open up that body, everybody. And hold there for five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant stuff. Again, shake out the knees if needs to be, shake out those legs. And hand goes underneath now this time. Look at your palm, look all the way up to your hand and up up to the shoulder and stretch out. Okay. Slowly turn all the way around so your chin is sitting on your shoulder. And from that, we hold, okay, with a big deep breath. And slowly release and we lower the body down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, well done. Okay, next one is, we're down on the floor. Again. Open out those legs and hands down towards your ankle or your shin. We're going to open up the lats and the shoulders here as well as in the position of just having the engaged hamstrings. So hand down on the quad, down on the knee, going down the left leg first. Open up, hold the shin, hold the foot if you can and let's open up. One, and slide your hand back up and down the leg. Number two, go for ten. Three. Number four, well done. Five. See the way you feel how tight your back is? Six, you want to loosen that out. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Opposite side, now roll back those shoulders from it. Here we go. One. Two. Three, super stuff. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, well done. Shake out the legs. Shake out the hands for a couple of seconds. And let's go on into round number two. Always again, a little bit deeper on the second round. Hands on the way down, and touch. Wherever you're at with your flexibility, that's absolutely fine. Hand travels up and down the leg, and over. We touch the toe, we touch the ankle, we touch the floor behind us. And again, you can only touch your shin, that's absolutely fine. Again, it's about improvements. You're not comparing yourself to anybody else in any area of your life. You're doing your damnedest. Six, here we go. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Brilliant. Shake out those legs, shake out those hands for a second or two. Just give them a breather. Okay, and we get ready. Far. Last one on this one, and let's go. One, two, sliding up and down the leg. Three. Four, big circles pretty much. Half moons in fact. Number five. Now six. Magic. Eight. Nine. And ten. And we're done, we're shaking out the legs. Okay, now in this position. We're going to twist and turn, and we're just going to hold this, okay, twisting at the trunk of the body. And take a deep breath in here. 
feeling this now in the obliques, which is the side of the core. It's in your back and being the lats and a little bit of your shoulder here too. So deep breath in, five, and hold, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, get a breather. Roll around to the other side. So we're just twisting and turning here. And we're just holding our palms flat on the floor. That's as far as you can go, it's only a little twist. Okay, and hold that deep breath in for me once now. And five, four, three, two, and one. She goes, the body, left and right. <laughs> and into round two. Again, just showing you different angles. And turning, that's as much as we got. Right, and we turn, we twist. And we're taking a deep breath, go a little bit further than last time. So wiggle those fingers around so you can go a tiny inch or two more. And hold four, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out the body, shake out the legs, super stuff. Going into last stretch, coming around. Once the body's shaking up and loosened out, and turn and hold. Try to go a little bit further, wiggle the feet, ah, I'm just the feet. So hands around, a little bit more, and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now that's on. Standing up tall, shake out the body. Okay, coming in and coming up. All right, that's a super session, done and dusted. All right, well done. And the key thing is, far, focusing in on what you can do today. Again, that's something that you can do. This can be used as a standalone okay, workout, or it can be used as the warm up to the likes of your routine that you're gonna get straight on into, All right? Or than that, stay tuned, stay classy, keep it organic, and get on that good stuff. See you in the next session.